What have you guys learned about the process of professional sports? It's crazy. <laughs> Which part is the craziest? Not crazy, crazy, but like just completely different from high school. Which has it been more to absorb for for your parents or for you? Because they're they've dealt with money their whole lives, right? But contractual stuff for a child. So our, our advisor kind of took care of all of that. So I just had to focus on preparing myself for the game or showcase or whatever I had to do that day. What's your dad's best, or your mom too? She seems like a smart lady and she's not the type to waste. Uh, what's their best advice to you about financial matters, with or without pro baseball? Uh, don't spend it on stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> And then you take their advice, or once in a while you're like, nah. Probably once in a while I'll, I'll spend it on something that didn't really need. <laughs> what about your family? Like, are you gonna get to the point where you're gonna fly your family up to see you play sometimes when you get older? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. If they want to come. Yeah. You gonna you gonna foot the bill on that one, or they gonna have to? <laughs> you haven't talked about it yet. Yeah. Hotel. Well, actually, LA, San Diego, you guys have your children yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely fly out there. Whoever pays for it doesn't matter. We'll fly out either way. What would you guys say to uh, families that have uh, young young children who have you know show some potential in whatever sport, soccer, basketball, softball, volleyball, baseball, football, and then the, you always have to balance that line between rest time, just just fun time versus it, you know don't forget we have. A, on our calendar this is when we go and get some swings uh, what's too much and what's not enough I, I believe in multiple sports not to just focus on one sport even when very young because um, you know, you're just working on certain muscles if you focus on one sport but I would let the kid play multiple sports and then realize what is I think as far as maybe as far in as high school when they realize what they really want to focus on they really yeah. focus on that because it's too early to tell if they might Anything can change every year, physically and mentally, they, they change. Yeah. Um, like even last year, Shane wasn't as strong as as, yeah. as this year, so everything changed physically and mentally if he's really focused. So I think high school, that's when you you should make them focus on their sport and yeah. to get the talent, there's more than enough time to succeed yeah, to the next level, whether it's division one, two or three, yeah. college ball, even professional ball. So I think, yeah, play multiple sports and don't, don't be um, focused just one. In the, in, the, in the previous generations, it was easy to play multiple yeah, sports because it's all year round. Because uh, we didn't have as many um, specialized yeah. like leagues, tournaments, yeah. and stuff. So you just play whatever season was, yeah. and it was fun. One thing you can you were about being that young too, like Shane never was burnt out from baseball because he didn't play baseball all year yeah. long until later on. But so I think the, a lot of kids, are, I see it already, get all burnt out after yeah. playing so much yeah. that one sport so long. There's some exceptional who just want to play baseball <laughs> even when a young age yeah. continue to play, but more, majority I think they get burnt, they get burnt out. And you can see the performance level not as not as high yeah. compared to kids that's playing all the different sports and finally decide to you know, play one. And the plan for this week is to go to Chili's or is, <laughs> are you going to let your parents choose the place? They probably want to go someplace like a little fancier. <laughs> yeah, I'll let them choose. Yeah. Your mom should get the first choice. You know why? She, car she, she carried she you for she, she carried she you for nine months, <laughs> and then you know one day of her choice, and then yeah. yeah. The where would that be though if it's your mom's choice? I don't know. She did say something. I forgot. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> you just get in the car and go with them, and then yeah. you eat. You eat in front of you. I just know the time. It's Eight thirty. So last question you guys will be probably making some time to travel and see and play minor league ball rookie league whatever the, who knows yeah. right yeah, who knows. how Definitely. you feel about that you excited oh, for me i only go trips to watch shane i mean my daughters but not for vacation but i like definitely looking forward to the trips to watch him play baseball i mean that's always obviously anybody's parents dream to watch your own kid play professional ball so yeah. definitely will go out when i when i can travel when i can did your dad cry yet too? Not yet. not yet. Inside, he's tears of joy. <laughs> yeah. Did your mom cry yet? No, no, not yet. <laughs> when, when they, when they, when you hand over that bonus check, they'll be, they'll be crying. <laughs> they'll be like, yeah. Oh, well, Yolani was 26, 26, 27, 26. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, guys. Let's take. A